All right, well, it is Friday, and that means that tomorrow is the uh, last day of 2022. So we're what do you call it? New Year's Eve. Eve. New, today's That's New it. Year's Eve. Eve. So, <laughs> and we're trying to figure out, you know, maybe some places to check out. And we sent Lauren to Westfield and Thunderbolt 12. She's been showing us all these shops and places to eat. Westfield is amazing. Yeah, I'm sold. Is. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Happy almost New Year's Eve. Yeah, I mean, there's so much to do in Westfield. So weather today will be beautiful if you want to go around and explore. Tomorrow, not so much, right? We're going to have that rain, but all you got to do is put on the poncho and put on the rain jacket, grab the umbrella, and you're good to go. And by the way, temperatures will be in the 50s, so really nice. And then on your Sunday, how about 50s with sunshine? What a way to start the new year, right? Hopefully, that's a good indication of what 2023 is going to be like. So let me show you what Westfield hopes to be like. This is the proposed plan. Rudy Bo, take us in there. All the way to the back is where we're going to go. We're joined with the mayor, Mayor Shelley Brindle, and she's been with us all morning. She actually set up all the local businesses, all the small businesses that we could talk to, and they are all new businesses. And Shelly, okay, this is your proposed new Westfield. Hello, Lauren. Hey. Um, well, this is a proposal uh, in collaboration with the, uh, the owners of our beloved Lord & Taylor building, an iconic destination in Westfield. I'm sure you might be familiar with it. That closed like so many stores around the country a couple years ago. So in partnership with them, we have proposed a revitalization of the former down Lord & Taylor property, as well as some of our old flat surface parking lots as a way to revitalize and ensure the businesses that you met earlier can be successful. Why do you, yeah. So we you, so obviously to be successful, but this town is, is growing. You're attracting new people and you want it to be appealing for everybody. That's exactly right. And there's a new generation of residents that have relocated from Brooklyn and Hoboken and so forth. And they want the amenities of what they had in a walkable space, but still be able to live in their single family home with their big backyard. And this is the plan. So we'll see what happens in 2023, 2024. So and there's that plaza that we saw earlier. So more to come from Westfield. So there you go. We're in Westfield. Lauren Dew, News 12, New Jersey.